Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to implement custom paging in grid view using Entity Framework in ESP.NET. Before moving ahead, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. So let's begin some brief information. First I'll explain you what is custom paging. Custom paging means getting data page wise from the database instead of getting complete data and then paging it. So let's understand what is the difference. The difference is that when you get data page wise, so let's say you have a page size of 10 records. So when page number two is clicked, you will get only records from 11 to 20 and page number three is clicked, you will get records from 21 to 30. Thus this method improves efficiency and also makes our application faster. So let's start our video tutorial. First I'll be adding an entity data model. As you can see in the add new item window, I am selecting ADO.NET entity data model and I am naming it customers. Then I am clicking on add. I'll click yes on this dialog box. Now I'll choose the first option EF designer from database and I'll click on next. Now here I'll click on new connection in the server name text box. I'll be adding the details of my SQL server. As you can see, I am typing in dot slash SQL 2014 where dot means the machine we are using currently and SQL 2014 is the name of the instance. After adding the username and password, I'll be now selecting the database. I'm making use of Northwind database. The details of installation of the Northwin database have been covered in a video tutorial. The link is available on the right hand side. Now I'll click on the test connection button and verify whether the connection is successful or not. As you can see the connection is successful. Now I'll click on OK. Now here I'll select the second option. Yes include the sensitive data in the connection string. Here I am selecting the option Entity Framework 5.0. Now in this window, the table views and stored procedures information is available. I will be making use of customers table and hence I am selecting the customers table from the tree view. As you can see the model namespace is set as Northwind model. So I will keep it as is and finally I will click on the finish button. As you can see the customers entity data model has been created and it is ready for use. Now our next task is to make use of the entity framework and then fetch the data from the database and also implement paging in grid view. So I'll start by adding a new class to our project. This particular class will handle the paging part and also the database fetching part. I am naming this class as customer DS. In this class, I'll be creating few methods. The very first method is to fetch the records from the database page wise. So I am naming it get customers. This particular method will accept two parameters start index and max rows where start index is the index from where the records should be fetched and maximum rows or max rows is the total number of rows to be fetched. For example, your page number is one, then the start index will be one while maximum rows will be 10 and if your page number is 2 then your start index will be 11 while maximum rows will again be 10. So this is an example of a grid view with page size as 10. So as you can see I am fetching records from the database table using entity framework. Now you will notice I am making use of link query and then I am making use of order by function. This particular order by function is used for ordering the records based on customer ID. The next function I am using is skip. Skip function is used for setting the start index while the third function is take function and it is used to set the max rows. Finally the link query 
is converted to a generic list and returned. Now I am creating another method get customers count and as the name suggests this particular function will get the record count from the database table. Now here again I am making use of Northwind entities class and simply I will get the count using the count function. Both these methods will be used by the object data source for fetching the data from the database and populating the grid view. The advantage of using object data source is that it allows us to customize the data fetching process by allowing us to use the class. Now let's move to the ASPX page where we'll be adding the grid view. So as you can see, I'm adding a grid view control. I am setting the auto generate columns property to false. I am setting the page size as 10. I am setting the allow paging property to true. Now I will be adding the columns to be displayed. I will be making use of bound fields. Now I am adding the object data source. I am setting a suitable ID to the object data source. I am naming it as DS customers. Since we need to use paging, I am setting the enable paging property to true. And in the select method, I am setting the name of the method get customers. While in the select count method, I am setting the name of the get customers count method. In type name, we'll specify the class name customer DS. Maximum rows parameter name. Here we'll specify the name of the parameter we have set as max rows. While start row index parameter name. I'm setting as the name of the parameter start index. So that's it. The object data source configuration has been completed. Now we'll set the ID of the object data source in the data source ID attribute of the grid view. So with this, we have completed the programming part. Now we can run the project and see it in action. So you can see the grid view has been populated and also the paging is working fine. Today we learnt how to configure entity framework in ASP.NET. Also we learnt how to fetch data from database page wise with the help of entity framework and link. And also we learnt how to implement custom paging in grid view with the help of object data source and entity framework. So with this, we come to the end of this video. The links for the source code and demo are available in the description. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon.